They can't find her body, but they think they know who her killer is. A woman disappeared from the Albuquerque area nearly 15 years ago. But investigators say they don't have the proof to charge her boyfriend with her murder. They're not giving up, though. They're calling in the big guns. News 13's Katie Kim is live in the Newsplex with more. Diane Ann Lombard's family believes her body is still buried somewhere in New Mexico, maybe even in her old backyard. Today, sheriff's deputies met with FBI agents, hoping to crack this cold case wide open. It's a rare snapshot of a happy family. Ann Lombard and her two little boys, taken in 1985, two years before they met James Taylor, 11 years before Ann Lombard vanished. The three people in that photograph, I am the only one still alive. Tyler Anderson is Lombard's younger son. His older brother, Todd, killed himself nearly a decade ago. Both were young teens when their mom disappeared in Placitas in 1996. Her body was never found. But for years, detectives and Lombard's family have suspected that her boyfriend, James Taylor, killed her. He attempted to kill my mother and on three separate occasions where my brother Todd and I were both present and able to intervene. The couple had a rocky relationship. Taylor admitted to police the two had an argument the day she disappeared, but he maintains his innocence. He had threatened his uh, most recent wife, you know, saying something along the lines of, I did it to Anne, I can do it to you, they'll never find you just like her. But prosecutors don't think Anderson's word is enough. If we had the evidence right now, we'd charge and move forward and try the case. Sandoval County prosecutors and sheriff's deputies met today with FBI profilers to try to plug the holes in the case. Taylor is still their prime suspect, but charges against him likely won't come soon. We will only bring charges if we think that we have a good faith basis to pre prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. But Anderson says charging Taylor for his mom's murder is the only way he'll fess up. If they bring charges, he'll cut himself a deal. I know him pretty well. Taylor is currently awaiting trial in Iowa for holding his wife and her daughter hostage in their home, then trying to set it on fire. Back to you. All right, thanks, Katie. The DA says even if Taylor is convicted in Iowa of those violent crimes, it still wouldn't help the case against him here because they simply don't have.